Hello guys and welcome to episode 6 of my Total War 3 Kingdoms 8 Princes playthrough playing as Surma Leong on very hard difficulty. Today we are going to be attacking Bai Jin who has declared their independence after being our vassal. We're also going to have to deal with uh, Surma Wei at some point. We have Surma Ju, our son, uh, currently defending Shang Yong against him. I am tempted to actually upgrade that settlement while we're there. It's not actually going to cost that much to do so. So let's go for it. That will increase the garrison. Probably not in time for the battle, but worth doing if he's going to be coming over those mountains quite often. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do before we move on is I'm going to send some money to people. Uh, we're going to give these guys some favorable deals. All right. Wang Jin. What do you want? We'll make a payment since his attitude is very negative. We've got personal rivalry with us apparently. Uh, I'm going to give them probably like 2000, I think. As like a gift. A proposal born of integrity. Hopefully that will help us out over time. Otherwise I'm just wasting money. Right, Mao Ren also isn't too what happy with us. I'm not sure if this is enough money to make a difference. I think that's maybe a problem. But oh well. Yeah, attitude consequence is actually like plus fifteen there, so that's not too bad. This bodes well for future relations. Have some money, dude. Yeah, we're gonna have to let that go back up to trustworthy. Because that being untrustworthy is pretty bad. Oh well. Uh, we can always make another army if we have to to sort stuff out. Uh, let's go ahead and end the turn. I need to try and peace out with Sir Mayu, actually. That's something we need to do, because there's no point in us being at war with him. We're nowhere near him. For your contemplation. Sao Juan asking to join our coalition. A pity. Doesn't no matter. matter. All right, so my way is still camping out in our settlement here, <laughs> or our province. Surely he's going to run out of supplies soon. A lean year. The Minister of Finance must not make any exceptions for missed tax payments, and so this go this too goes for his officials in the commanderies. A village claims to be unable to pay taxes, pay its household tax. Citing poor harvests, yet law is law. What is to be done with them? Okay. Uh, we can let them off, which gives minus 15% income from peasantry in the local commandery. That gives us a spiritual alignment, which is what we want. We're getting there to the next level. I think that's fine. We'll, we'll let them off. Okay, rivals. Surma Liang and Surma Ying. That's annoying. Our relationship lost. Okay, that's good. Uh, Clay Ox, cool. And Sen Yilu. We should have a look at him. He's only level 1. And he is 38 years old. Perceptive, composed, and disloyal. No, thank you. Alright. Let's get him onto the water. Zoom, zoom. Off we go. Right, do we just go ahead and attack some our way? I could do it. He seems to just be chilling at the moment, which is fine. He's just in an encampment stance. I 
I think I'm just going to create a new army. All right. Let's go and raise an army here. We'll get Sir Ma Xiong. We'll grab Sir Ma Sui. And Lady Wu Liju. Cool. I'm just going to make sure that we give this Wuji to the correct person. Who was I going to give that to? I can't even remember. Oh, I think it was I was going to give it to Sir Mahjong, wasn't I? Yeah. Cool. So his instincts is actually relatively decent. I thought Sir Ma, the he can have the clay ox. That's going to sort out his satisfaction a little bit more. And she can have the bow. Alright. May as well give him his armor back. Sorted. Now we just need to get the army sorted out. So we'll swap those out for the arch militia. We can get some mounted crossbows, which is cool, but probably not any better than normal crossbows. So we'll avoid that. We want these to be trebuchets. That's fine and that's fine. Uh, let's just add to the army. Alright, so I don't need any archers under this guy. Because we have composure on our strategist anyway. Alright. Let's grab those, and I guess next turn we'll add the Imperial Guard to his retinue. Although I would like some Cav, but I'm not sure if we can get any decent Cav. Uh, I'll be fine. Uh, looks like she's leveled up. Zuo Shan Min. Uh, getting industrial exploitations decent for us because I can set that up as an assignment somewhere. And why can I not use her as an assignee? Is she already an assignee? Oh yeah, she is. She's got the plus fifty percent income from peasantry going. That's okay. That's okay. All right. What else can we do? Uh, the extra satisfaction faction wide is really nice. I should probably set that up. Which one would be better to do? Probably her. I've just got to find anywhere with corruption if there is any. There is a little bit of corruption about by the things. So let's just go through the commanderies and check that out. Like 5% corruption. Alright, so which settlement is making the next most amount of money? Probably Runan, our main settlement. We'll do that there. Okay, cool. That will definitely help us out a lot because satisfaction is a pain in the ass. We're on our way to great jurisdiction, which is good. And that army actually isn't costing us all that much. We're still making 5,000 a turn. Uh, let's move on to the next turn. Actually, may as well invoke the council. We need element administration again. That's good. Uh, that should get completed when we complete the city at Runan. Alright. Move on. I wonder if it'd be worth just sailing the whole way round to Baijin. Where are you? His land's pretty spread out, it looks like. I do need to ask him for peace. I keep forgetting to do so. The people come first. Your advisors recommend recommended you serve the people, and that is what you have chosen to do. Yet the other princes of Jin see this as neglect. They insist you spend more on courtly distractions to keep them entertained. Are we going to be popular? 
Or we'd be unpopular. We get the extra spiritual alignment. I think we're going to refuse. Just keep that spiritual alignment going. Pretty close to the next level. Sir Ma Wenkai has been promoted to a general. Cool. Uh, let's go to diplomacy. Oh, actually, no, let's go to the spy thing and see what we can do with him, if anything. I don't think there is much we can at the moment. Our cover is not high enough. Yeah, I think it would be better just go around like so. Actually, maybe not. Because it's going to take two turns to get there. So we may as well do that. Actually, I also want to be on land because I do need to replenish. Although we're going to replenish anyway? But we're in full speed, that's weird. Is it because we're on the water? Hmm. Right, I was waiting for him to run out of supplies, but I'm not sure he will because he's in encamp stance. Regardless, uh, we need to sort out this army. Let's do that quick. It's going to use up a lot of our cash. I can't even get the next trebuchet. I'm tempted to attack that encampment, but we're just going to chill for now, I think. Mao Ren's uh, relatively happy with us now. Huang Xin's still not great, unfortunately. What do you want? Very negative. Maybe if we call them to war. Them our way. Does that work? I'm not even sure. But because they might be in, like, in a war with us, they might like us more because we have then the same enemies. Uh, I do need to talk to Sir Ma Yu and be like, yo, bro, sorry for declaring war. Wasn't my idea. Oh, it is you. Wow, minus 26. Are you having a laugh? Well, that's kind of annoying. We're actually going to have to go and attack them, I think. Alright, well, we'll go ahead and do that. Baijin is just going to die. We're going to kill, kill them off. Uh, Sama Mo will also kill once we have that army sorted. Let's move on. We cannot continue this stalemate. Oh, wow. They're going to give us the Luo Yang trade port for peace. It's not even that bad of a deal, but I'd rather have Chang An. But we're going to reject that for now. This is an insult. Yeah, I can't believe we got pulled into a war with Sema Yu and then like Baijin was just like, bye. <laughs> Get jipated. <laughs> Not cool. Not cool. Zhang Zhang Li invited Sema Wei to join the coalition. All right. Through the spiritual, we gain enlightenment. Through the physical, we gain power. Through both, we gain life eternal. By studying Naidan, we unify our essence, our breath, and our spirit into one. Pure, unified Tao, and thus gain spiritual immortality. Right, that's that mission complete immediately. Very nice. And friendship forming. Mao Miao Zhu and Sama Zhu. Sama Liang and Sama Chu both sworn now. Good. Do so in our court. Let's have a look at him. Disloyal. So many disloyal characters in this playthrough. It's ridiculous. Alright, let's go for the sacrifice for the spirits. Because I can then afford to 
start demolishing more food stuff if I need to. Uh, let's upgrade that, that's fine. Oh, I also need to make sure that I have the extra trebuchet recruiting here. Cool. Uh, let's go normal. So that we can get towards Baijin. We're probably just going to have to siege the settlement rather than assault it. Do I need these bow infantry here? There's no reason for me to have them in that retinue, is there? I also might upgrade these Saber Militia to Imperial Guards. But we won't do that before we do the siege, we'll just afterwards. Alright. It's all good. Probably going to delete maybe those two buildings. I'm really not sure. We've got an extra slot there still. Maybe it'd be better to demolish this one. The thing is, what we could do is we could build an inn and a state or and a private workshop. The private workshop buffs the income from industry and income from commerce, whilst the inn kind of counteracts that, like the noble support or public order. So, yeah, I think that's probably what we're going to do in our main settlement. And that will sort out our income nicely. They really don't like us. I'm just waiting for them to jump ship any time now. We're unpopular for four more turns as well, which is pretty bad. Let us talk trade. Well, they want to give us a forged iron scale for clay rat, clay rat, and wooden dog. This is actually not a bad piece of armor, and we're not going to use those two clay rats at least. I might actually take that deal. Your acceptance gives us joy. We don't have very good armor. All right, so Mark. One has been born. Our family tree must be massive now. So much Jews had three kids. I might marry Soma Young to one of these two ladies here. She's already married, isn't she? No, she's not. Oh, never mind. Soma Young's already married to Lu Lian Shi. You could marry Soma Young. Both of these are relatively old ladies. I think I'm still going to do it, though. Marry him to her. There you go. We're going to have all the kids. We've got a cryptographer. Nice. And the forged iron scale. Alright, that's the one we traded for. So, uh, probably going to give that to... This fella. Very good. And... I'm going to give that to him. Good. Alright, that's ready to go. Baijin has left his land and he's basically giving it to us for free. Very nice. It is really tempting to offer him a chance to be my vassal again. But I don't know if it's worth it. Because he's very likely to quite simply break off again. So I'm probably just going to kill him. Yeah, we'll do that. It is decided. We'll demolish that. 
Um, we'll keep that for now. Uh, keep the lodge, that's fine. The marketplace is okay-ish. But I don't know if that's a good idea. Saying that, I guess these counteract each other. Yeah. I might convert to the tea parlor though. Because these give more base commerce income. So it makes sense if we're going to build this up as well. well. That goes really far up. Wow. Well, let's just push that. And uh, we'll take the farmland shortly. We yeah, may as well keep those other two buildings because we have farmland here. So that's going to give us a lot of food. Okay, this army is ready to go. Let's go smash into the Jade Mine. This is going to be another province that we're going to keep. Ah, it might be worth waiting until they sally forth. Actually, no. Maybe not. Because it would be a harder battle to fight on the field than it would in the settlement. So... I think we're just going to jump on in. And fight this out. It's going to be a tough one. I really don't like attacking these settlements, but at least we have fire arrows now, which will make killing the towers a lot easier. Actually, starting on this side is not a bad idea at all. So that's worked out quite nicely for us. Alright, we've got those in the center. Uh, these guys on the flanks. I'm just going to move the trebuchets forwards and start the battle, I think. We can always sort out everything else afterwards. Let's just stop them from firing. And they're not very stacked. Which is a bit awkward. Maybe I can hit some shots there. I'm going to have the Spear Guard go first. And we're going to start walking towards them. They do have loose formation, unfortunately. Let's hit the Sabre Militia. Maybe worth actually moving the trebuchets closer before using up the rest of the ammunition. Let's do that. We'll move them forwards. I think it makes sense. I need to have these run forwards as well. Start burning down those towers. Yeah, the fact we're fighting uphill, we can't use our trebuchets very well at the moment, and it sucks. But if we move them closer, then we can be a lot more accurate with the shots. Always looks so cool. <laughs> like fi fire arrows, they look awesome, but they're so unrealistic. <laughs> it's taking their sweet time to burn these down, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, 
Alright, let's uh, stop those firing, put them back onto normal shots. That is fine, wonderful. So we no longer have to deal with those towers. Uh, this tower, I don't think it can fire at us, no. That's good. Let's continue to move these lot forwards. Uh, now, the trebuchet is being closer, should be a bit more accurate. Get some shots in. Wow, they completely whiffed. Okay. Well... <laughs> They can continue to move up. I'm just checking they were actually in turtle formation then. A lot of archers are wasting ammunition on them. Uh, my archers have killed that G militia unit entirely. Uh, we'll take them off fire at well though. Same deal with my crossbows. These formations just look so cool. You got those guys in the middle. The middle line. Just uh, loads of flag bearers. Hoping they don't get hit. Yeah, we didn't even force them into loose formation with that last volley from the trebuchets. Because we missed every single shot. <laughs> it's quite quite silly. Not sure why we're firing at the archers, but I guess it's just killing more numbers that we're not going to have to deal with in melee. How are they so inaccurate? I don't get it. Like it says that it should land within this circle. But they're just it just, they're not. Okay, now they are. Kind of. I'm going to push one forwards. I think I'm going to have one of them hit the Saber Militia as well. Uh, looks like the Archer Militia are going to run away though. Some of them, at least. Hmm. I wonder if their generals will charge into my Spear Guard. I hope they do. Because I think if they do, they take quite a bit of damage. As long as my Spear Guard is stationary, at least. They'll take the charge resistance. Uh, let's fire at the Saber Militia here, or even the mounted Saber Militia. Those archers have nearly used up all their ammunition. We are right next to them. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Triggered them. <laughs> All that cavalry just charged in and died. We're going to have to deal with these uh, leaders sooner than later, though. Okay, 
Alright, we'll use the debuff. We'll keep hitting them. Oh, nice hits there. Very nice hits. Alright, we've done a lot of damage to Tianyan. Very good, very good. Let's get the uh, buff in there. Start attacking some more. Great. Move up some of the Imperial Guard. Shooting at this Saber Militia is working out quite well for us. That's nice. The shots that are missing are actually doing quite a bit of damage. Right, let's get my leaders out of there. We'll have the last few shots fire into this engagement, I think. Right, I do need to get my archers up. We'll do that now. We'll let them start to fire at well, I think. I think they charged into my next line. Did a lot of damage to themselves by doing so. Okay, great. So uh, chase down this guy is running away. Alright, the Trebuchets have run out of ammunition. Take these guys out of battle stance and charge in, I think. I should have kept them in the turtle stance whilst the horses came in, but that's okay. Alright, if they all start piling in again, we can start using our archers to get a lot of kills. I need to pull those out again because of the cav coming in. This is good though. We're lining them up very nicely. We're soon going to be able to put a lot of damage down. What I should do is put these both into turtle formations again, but I don't think I can because they are in me uh, melee engagement. But keeping them in the turtle formation whilst this happens means I basically get no friendly fire. Whereas at the moment I'm kind of shooting a few guys in the back of the head. So far, this is working well. Wait, why are the crossbows moving forwards like that? Hello? <laughs> Archers? <laughs> what are you doing? I was wondering why there wasn't much actual archer fire coming in. They're on guard, so they shouldn't move forwards. For whatever reason. Right, I think I'm going to have these guys actually attack the Saber Militia back there. These guys can attack 
Saber Militia there. This mounted Saber Militia, that is, for those guys. They are crossbows, so they should do quite a lot of damage. And then we can have the normal archers. Okay, let's focus on this right hand side. I didn't realize they'd run around the right. Oh, my bad. <laughs> we can mow them down quite easily. And surround them. At least in turtle stance, they kind of face all directions, so... I don't think them being charged in the side really matters. Alright, wonderful. Really nice rear charge there. We're gonna slaughter these guys. And we've done loads of damage now. Uh, there's another unit coming in behind us. Uh, we might have to deal with them. It is really annoying how these archers aren't just like firing up and over. They are just running towards the enemy. Very annoying. If I put some flaming arrows into this engagement, it might just make them break. Take them out of formation, push them in. We still got an entire unit of Imperial Guard here. Putting flaming rounds into these guys seem to be helping quite a bit, actually. It's a long old battle, that's for sure. I could maybe try and flank by taking down those towers, but I'd have to burn these towers in order to make that flank work, and... Honestly, I'd rather use the ammunition on just, like, killing guys. Let's just push my leaders in. They can do quite a bit of damage in this sort of engagement. And if I put on the range block chance, then I think that helps us with friendly fire as well. Alright, 
做好准备。He's not really doing too well in that engagement. Get those crossbows back. All right, most of the army is routed now. Okay, good. Well, they actually have some archers with ammunition left. Okay. That's a thing. I think the charge bonus from these guys is just so good. We'll just the cycle charge a little bit. Should probably just go and charge the arch militia actually. Both of these guys are getting pretty low on health though. <laughs> Very careful here. Gotta leave. This guy is very low on health right now. Time to go. <laughs> right, there we go. That's victory. Phew. That was a hell of a battle. I think we definitely minimized our losses by playing it out though. So. That's good. War grows bitter and enduring between you and your enemy. If there is no end in sight, then the... Alright, well, only 1,200 lost. Very good. I will occupy that, thank you very much. That's the Jade Mine under our command. That is actually a level 4, so that's really nice. We could go to Nanyang now. Probably not going to bump into too much resistance there. Go along to trust. There we go. And Celery has gained a grey thoroughbred. Nice. That guy has a horse. Uh, this guy has a horse. So we can give it to this fat fella. There you go. Who's unhappy? One of these people is unhappy. Oh, my leader's unhappy. He desires a higher court position. Because he's ambitious. Well, how about you get promoted? I might make him my grand commandant. Once we unlock that. Okay. Let's see. We have 5,000 to spend. I don't think I need to spend it on any... Any armies. So... Probably... Just gotta find... A settlement to spend it on. Right here, I'm gonna put the inn. And we're gonna demolish this. That turn. Right, Shang Yang. Tempting to upgrade this to the next level. That increases trade influence, which might be quite nice because we get quite a lot of income from trade, but I think overall the extra income from industry is just better. So I might just put the money into that now. 
That will use up the rest of our cash. Alright. Let's end the turn. So my way is moving away. I'm going to guess that he was going to run out of re reserves or supply in his army, which is why he moved away. We would not be your enemy. Non-aggression pact for clay warrior, stone archer, and wooden dog. No, thank you. This is an insult. That doesn't really matter to us. Okay, Baijin just moved out and attacked another army. That's okay. Because that makes their army weaker, which means our attack on their settlement is going to be a lot easier. Some are you invited Sao Juan into their coalition. He wanted to be in our coalition for a long time, but I guess not anymore. Jin Empire signed a peace treaty with Sama Yong. Sama Chai requested Ruan Shen join their war against. Who's this? Han Guan. An exquisite weapon! Yes, finally. What did we get? A battle axe. Wow. That's disappointing. Still decent. We can give it to Sermaj Song, but I do wish that <laughs> we get a better weapon than that. Alright, some people of merit. Let's have a look at these. Oops. Uh, court is where we want to go. Guan Shu. Greedy, vain, and formidable. See my resourceful, bright, and concerned. Oh, he's nice. He'd be a decent administrator. Yeah, that's good. We need a new administrator when we get another slot. So that would be a good candidate. Fraternal, kind, and resourceful. Also nice traits. And that's reduced penalty from a desire for higher office as well. Uh, which one would be better? Probably the other one because his traits give him extra expertise and the extra reserves there. Although saying that, the extra noble support and the reserves from that one's nice. And I think I like Fraternal a lot. So let's go for this lady. Lu Lui Pai. We'll grab her. Uh, Serma Yang and Serma Zhu are now rivals. Kind of annoying. Uh, Serma Zhao, he is unhappy. We'll just re give him a recruitment or pr promotion, sorry. And what's going on with this lady? Oh, she's leveled up. Alright. Um, do we go towards dignity? That's kind of pointless, I think, isn't it? Yeah, it doesn't give us another another assignment. We're just using her as an assignment person at the moment, aren't we? So... I guess we just go up to nature's ally. And we can go to meditation. Because the only time we're ever going to use her is if we need her in a hurry. So having a good defense is actually not a bad idea. Uh, can we reach the farmland from here? We cannot. Uh, so we'll just move out, but we'll stay in our territory. Uh, I might be able to ambush, actually. I don't know if I'd be close enough to attack next turn, though. If we went here, uh, we'll give it a go. Because that would definitely allow us to wipe out Baijin. Okay, um, as for money... Do we want to do that yet? Probably not. I could have Sama Zhu follow Sama Wei. We're soon going to have Sama Zong or Zhong come over. Uh, the Nanyang large town is completely vulnerable to attack, I think. Yep. Oh, there is an army here. 
but it's not very strong. It's just been recruited. I'm tempted to just delegate that with a night battle rather than play it out. 1,000 lost is fine. Lady Bian Yuzhan. She's good expertise from composed, unobservant, aesthetic. I think we'll just release her. Alright, and we'll occupy. The Mamo is destroyed. Alright. We get the government workshop there. We've got the tea parlor. Cool. That's all very well. Nice chunk of money coming our way. And... We're still unpopular. We're actually extended now for our domain, which is not so good. Maybe we have to get Baijin to be our vassal. Because otherwise I'm not going to really be able to take that. These penalties are pretty harsh. Like the plus 20% corruption is horrible. And the minus 10 diplomatic relations. Let's go talk to Baijin. And offer him his land back. Not you again. Uh, trade territory. Which one's this? Jenksha. Right, request a payment. Uh, we want regular payment. That's going to cost me 15 <laughs> for 193 a turn. We can also offer a trade agreement. They wouldn't want to take it though. We'll make them a payment. That we go. We get the trade agreement, which will increase our happiness with them over time. They're our vassal, we give their land back. That's all good. Right, Sao Juan. Uh, we want to mediate peace with Sao Juan. Great. That works. We can offer to become the vassal. <laughs> Why would we ever want to do that? We're maxed out on trade, that's all very well. Uh, we can offer these people non-aggression packs. That might be a good idea, just to get some extra money from deals. But unfortunately guys, it has been my time, so I'm actually going to leave it here. We vassalize Baijin again, put them back in their place. And now we're going to head back up towards Sir um, Way. All right. Yeah. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.